special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proving ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country, put it on his back, and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the notorious Hunter McGregor. And there's Herb Dean, who will fight. handle the action Ready. inside the octagon. Let's do it. All right, round one is underway. Here is the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by first round knockout, something his opponent is acutely aware of coming in here tonight. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home away. Uh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit, and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this, oh, flying knee right on the chin. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, man, I can barely get the Fight Clock sponsor out. These gentlemen are going at it. They are here to fight tonight. I cannot wait for this fight to continue. McGregor's kick to the body is blocked. All right, early action here. A nice hook by the boxer gets home on the kickboxer. This is exactly the range in which he wants to be fighting. Yeah, because it limits the kickboxer. And the kickboxer has a very high guard. So if you're tight and you just pivot with the hook, it lands around that guard, and he does a lot of damage with it. The fighters separate. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Pretty strong jab there by McGregor. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Do some work, guys. Throwing that jab, no good. <laughs> nice straight right hand. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. 
Oh, how good is that jab by McGregor? Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Misses with the left. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He made that take down. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Nice block. Hands up. Hands up. 44 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. So now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso. Oh, oh he's got him hurting here. Oh! That leg kick hurt. All right, so the narrative in this one, Conor McGregor's striking accuracy. He talks about this cater of weaponry, but the hands have been the story tonight. Well, he can do it all. And this is where he wins fights. When he is comfortable, when he is confident, and he spends the vast majority of a fight on his feet, Conor McGregor is victorious, and we are seeing that in the octagon tonight. Under a minute now to go. One minute, 60 seconds left. Oh, nice straight left. Well, in terms of Conor McGregor's frame at lightweight or at featherweight, he really uses his length well. He has an outstanding reach. More often than not, he's going to have a reach advantage over the opposition, and he is taking advantage here tonight. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Round two straight ahead. All right, deep breath. Good round. That was a good round, but I need those kicks to land a little more. All right? You're not setting them up good enough. So All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in a zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing with vicious intent. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the stool for the beginning of this round. Fast leg kick lands. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston, and it lands again. It's like an atabot. Like, he hits people, and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I think the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his hip kicks. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. McGregor's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut. Perhaps they're on the bridge. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. And this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. He's hurt the bad man. That right hook is nasty. Lands the overhand punch to the head. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. 
Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Hey, Gregor's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Man, that is oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. His misses are entertaining. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. 90 seconds to go in round two. Inside leg kick lands. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Conviction. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Lands a nice straight. Swing and a miss by Choi. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Full guard now, Beast. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture, but if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick oh off the God. hips and get back to your feet. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready, fight? Ready. Third round underway. Tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Shore. Massive, massive hook lands. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. That was the end of the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut, try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about 
punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. It is, right? And I'm old now. I don't even want to fight no more. I, I do love uh, a little damage. Choi's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Let's go. Keep well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Just misses with the right. McGregor's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. I want you to make that cut worse now. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, that's a nice strike. the midpoint of this fight. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find the punch. Oh! This could be it! Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, McGregor's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Right hook to the hand block. Pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. There it is. He's cut. Get the elbow. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. like blood and I do this is the fight for you somehow we've made it to the stools and both fighters are wearing it. yeah I mean the corner is gonna have some work to do on that cut he has been beat up in that round but he has done his fair share of damage himself this has been a very close fight well that was a damaging five minutes we'll see how he can recover over the 60 seconds we'll show you some replays now from that previous round he was on the receiving end of some big blows and he wasn't moving his head well his head was on the center line. He was a stationary target. And his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? 
You ready? Go Fourth ahead. round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who goes and goes down first. Oh, but Greg is oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at it. Oh! Oh, he's in trouble. And we'll get back to his feet. Oh, he hurt him again! Oh, big left hand! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that right hand. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, this one could be over soon. Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible result. So many people say they want to be a fighter. If I'm trying to convince somebody not to do it, I will show them this fight. This fight has been amazing. These guys. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Oh, another blow hits that cut. Referee might need a call on the doctor here soon. Nice positional control here. Oh, another ground strike gets through. Great ground and pound by this man. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. Well, this is getting hard to win. Oh, my God. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi,